Um, I decided to do this video um, to address black women within the black community about the issues of your ch your children and um, their relationship with their father and uh, despite the dysfunctionalism within the black community and so many issues we have unhealed and the turbulent relationship between black men and black women remember to do your best to teach your children to respect their father. And the reason why I'm saying this is because um, the way I grew up and what the things that I witnessed growing up as a black female, um, my mother hated my father, but it was like a love-hate relationship she had with my dad. So, um, it's like she told us all these bad things about my father and she she like it's like she hated him she blackballed him to everybody everybody in the church <laughs> and if if we had attempted to, to express any love toward our father she hated that it's like how dare you like this man but that was my dad and see with I want to let you black fathers know this it's important to me that black fathers know this about their children. Um, we're left with our mothers most of the time. And so we sometimes we kind of take it for granted, you know, being around our moms and stuff. Because, you know, our mothers are tired, they're frustrated, blah, blah, blah. But when dad comes around, we're excited. We're like, yay, dad's here, you know. And when I saw my father's car you know, parked out in the front. I mean, it was like Disneyland for me, you know? And when I was, especially when I was a little girl, when, you know, when, when kids are little, they're innocent and their minds haven't been corrupted yet. And I was so excited when I saw Dad, you know? And um, all of a sudden, one day, Dad was gone. I didn't know what happened to him, you know? He disappeared, but, you know, he left because... Uh, you know, divorce and, and separation because parents d don't always get along. But, you know, whatever, that's cool. But as I got older, um, I, I saw my, my sister, my mother would train, she, my sister was older than me, and my mother trained my sister to hate my father. Okay, now, that was my mother's business. Between her and my father, that was her business. But, for her to train my sister to hate my father, that wasn't cool. And my sister didn't know how to talk to my 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 father. She my sister didn't know how to talk to her own her, her own dad. And so she would she was catching hell from my dad. But it was it wasn't my my um sister's fault. Is because my mother was training her. She was. She, she tried to program my sister's mind to hate my father and she wouldn't talk to my father in a respectful way. She would talk to him like, um, you know, I don't have no respect for you, blah, 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 this and that. And, and so um, later on, my sister snapped out of that and, because she came to her own senses. And then that's when my mother blackballed my sister and... <clears throat> my sister ended up gravitating towards my dad, and um, then the same thing happened with me. Um, you know, my mother tried to force me to hate my dad, and it didn't work. And you know, the both of them bounced me back and forth, my you know, from my father to my mother. But in the long run, I got I got along better than with my dad than I did with my mother. And, um, but anyway, um, I'm seeing this not only happen within my family, but I'm seeing it happen with a lot of, um, black women and their daughters in the black community. 
and they do the same thing with their sons. They they try to they try to train both the both the 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 boys and the girls to hate their father because of the differences they have. And I mean, if you have anger towards your ex husband or your ex boyfriend or whatever, that's fine. That's your business, but. Don't recruit the children into that. They they don't need to be involved with that. They they need to have a chance to have a relationship <clears throat> with their father. And I think it's something real ugly when I see a grown daughter or a daughter, a young girl, talking disrespectful to her father. And her father is like, he has to cut her off. He can't talk to her because she doesn't know how to talk to him and it's obvious you can see it's obvious that you know the, she's doing it to impress excuse me she's doing it either to impress her mother or because that's what her mother trained her to do and um this shouldn't it shouldn't be like that um and then the other thing i was going to say is that um Another problem with a lot of black women, I'm not saying all black women, but I've seen this. I've heard a lot of women, not just black women say it, but women of other races too, that they don't want to have a daughter. And they rather have a son. And I found out, it, 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 I mean, it sounds crazy and it's sick and twisted, but they, they're, they feel like they want all the attention from their man and they're they're jealous of their daughter and they don't want the daughter to have a relationship with their own father you know they they want to be the only female in the house if there's another female they don't want her getting there or either that they're afraid that the daughter's going to manipulate her dad's favor be a daddy's girl or something like that and what they end up doing is destroying any chance that the daughter has of having a relationship with with her father and um, a mother shouldn't feel threatened by her own daughter uh, my mother she was like as far as me having a, re uh, um, a loving relationship with my father my mother was like I'm not having that she, she it wasn't gonna happen for her so my mother was one of the causes or the reasons that um, I didn't have a loving relationship with my dad because my mother was jealous of me and my sister because since my mother didn't have a fa her her father, you know, she was like, how dare you have a relationship with your father? It was just jealousy for no reason, just just plain jealousy. And this is sick and twisted. And um. You know, you can't stop people from behaving the way they are, but I just thought I would make a video about this to raise the awareness what I've observed. Because <clears throat> I keep, I still keep seeing this happening with, with the, um, the ex, um, these, these, uh, grown kids or grown children and both their parents have been estranged from each other. You know, the ex-husband, the ex-wife. And the girl spent, she spent most of her time with her dad. I mean, excuse me, she, the, the, the daughter has spent most of her time with their mom, raising her for whatever reason. And then when she's, she starts uh, encountering or trying to build a relationship with her father, she doesn't know how to talk to him. She talks to him in a disrespectful way. And again, um, that's you know the 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 um the anger that the parents have towards each other that's their business and this is an opportunity for you to um have a father daughter relationship and address your father in a respectful way um because it it just doesn't look right you know it, it, if he's if he's if he's attempting to be a father to you and he's trying to communicate, you both are communicating with each other and you're talking down to him like he's a child. To me, that just, it just doesn't sound right. It's just, it's, it just looks very nasty to see that. 
you know so when you know you you're looking back at it and you're you're watching other people and it it just doesn't look right you know a child shouldn't talk disrespectful to their their especially especially doing it to impress mom you know and then they go back and say oh yeah I told that man this I told that man that and it's it's just it's sad it's disrespectful you know you you should there should be some kind of loving relationship between the father and his daughters and the same thing with the sons it, it, there should be a loving relationship you know not not how can I screw you over you know how can I get over on you um, so I just wanted to raise that awareness